This tutorial will show you how to set up Unity's new input system package with the dialog system. The first step is to install the input system package from Unity's package manager window. If you imported the dialog system's assembly definition files, you'll need to edit those assembly definitions and add references to the input system assembly. We'll set up the demo scene for use with the new input system. To do that, we'll need to identify what inputs we need to define in the new input system that this scene will use. Our simple controller script uses a horizontal and vertical axis and an input called Fire1. The dialog system's input system integration will automatically handle mouse X and mouse Y. It will also handle most key codes. Notice on the selector component that the use key is set to space. If you want to use a standard key, you can set the use key and you don't have to set a use button. But you're also free to define an input system action and assign it to the use button. The next step is to go to the Dialog System's Welcome window and tick the New Input System checkbox. This will recompile the Dialog System to work with the new input system. Next, create your input system actions. The Dialog System ships with some example actions for the demo, so to save time we'll just use those instead of recreating them. The key when integrating with the dialog system is to tick Generate C Sharp class in the inspector. This will automatically generate a C Sharp script that the integration will use. With that done, there are just two steps left inspect the scene's event system and convert it to use the new input system. Finally, you'll need to create a C Sharp script that registers your input system actions with the dialog system. This tells the dialog system how to access input system actions. Note that for the dialog system, you do not need a player input component. To create this script, you can copy the example from the Input Device Manager manual. The dialog system also ships with an example script for the demo. So rather than typing it in, we'll just open it up and take a look at it. It's based off of the example in the Input Device Manager manual, and the key method is InputDeviceManager.RegisterInputAction. Finally, add this script to the Dialog Manager game object. We've already added it here to the demo scene. If you've customized the Input Device Manager component, you can review that also for any input actions that you might need to define and register. And here we can verify that it works. We need to intercept the launch codes before the enemy launches their weapon at our home world. Okay, what's the problem? I can't break into the computer. It's password protected. I'll find the password. The dialog system ships with a handy component called UI button key trigger that you can use to map hotkeys to UI buttons. For example, say you want to map a hotkey to your Dialog UI's Continue button. You can add a UI button key trigger and then set button name to a registered input action. 
And that's it for the Dialog System's input system integration. There really isn't much to it because the Dialog System primarily works with Unity UI's event system. So, so long as your event system is set up, the Dialog System will work fine with it.